What's up guys and welcome back to our Fulham 316 career mode episode number 2. Now just before we get into this game I'm just going to tell you this was one of the most frustrating games I ever played on FIFA. I mean FIFA 15, FIFA 14, FIFA 13 you could just run it with the wingers who had pace and score now in this FIFA you have to freaking pass now I'm not really the pass type in FIFA but I'm just going to say it, this these this game was one of those games you see on Twitter or on Facebook where it says where controllers were smashed. I mean, I had so many chances we couldn't we just couldn't go. It was so frustrating. I mean, we had a chance here and how we didn't score here. But anyway, like I said, we had so many chances. I mean, I can't remember how many chances we had. Obviously, I'm not going to show you them all because. Most of them was pretty crap anyway, but I mean, I don't know how we didn't score. I mean, that one there, how did we not score? I mean, oh, I don't know. It was so frustrating. We just we just kept on getting the ball, kept on counter attacking them. Then Belly had a pretty good game to fair. That's off to him. He played pretty well. He just but he just couldn't find the target. Neither could McCormack. He had as well. He just couldn't score. I mean. That chance at the end of the half by Dembele, how that didn't go in, I don't know. But um, that was it really, the half. Um, it was just Fulham and that was it. I think we had about 70% possession and they had about 30. I mean, I can't enough tell it's all us. And I mean, when you come away from this game and when you play the game of FIFA, you think... And you think you should have won. Look at that chance from McCormack. What's that all about? How can he not score from there? He's a 74 rated player with about nearly 80 finishing. And he fluffed that chance like that. Oh, I was so angry. It was, oh, it was so frustrating. But I mean, they, as you will see, had this chance in the game. This one chance. They turned my defender. But luckily he didn't go in. We came up the other end, tried to uh, obviously score again. What happening? I don't know how we didn't score there. Somehow we end up hitting it straight at the goalkeeper from eight yards out. Eight yards. How does that happen? Anyway, we have a corner here after that pathetic shot and gets freaking cleared off the line. And then, even worse, we miss that chance. But. Here it is, boys and girls. The goal that uh, will make us have our first loss of our full career. What a uh, jammy goal that was as well. I mean, I tried baiting him with a defender, but it just didn't work. I kind of went out too quick, and he just played it through the right back and our right centre back. And he just slotted it home, the num their number seven. Good little finish to be fair, with outside at boot, but what can you do? I mean, we've had so many chances, we haven't taken them, and in football, you need to take the games, and that's what we've exactly done today. It, it, it was frustrating, it was annoying, but I mean, that last pass there just really sums us up, really. No great, no determination, but anyway, let's stop ranting and get on to transfers. Derby, we inquired about Johnny Russell, they wanted 2.1 million. We thought, ha, we're not paying that. We'll give you a bit less. Anyway, at the end of the game, Ross McCormack's out for two bloody months. Two months? What am I going to do without him? He's our best striker. But anyway, QPR came back about our three million bid for New Who. We put a four million bid. I thought that was quite fair, to be fair. To be fair, to be fair. He's 76 rated at 28 years old. I think... It is a good bit of money for them, really. And also, we uh, upped our bid for Sam Byram as Leeds wouldn't have our first one. Uh, also, Blackburn Rovers came back and rejected our bid for Ben Marshall. So, we put in a bid for him as well. But anyway, we inquired about a few more players. Naki Wells being one. Now, I wasn't too much bothered about getting strikers at first. But now McCormack's out for two months. And... We've put Dembele on loan. We do need to kind of bring in one or two strikers as well because, I mean, I can't stress enough how we need them. 
We need pace, we need power, we need good finishing, to be fair, because we're missing too many chances. But anyway, our first bit of selling this episode. Vossa, Nottingham Forest, we uh, accepted our, accept their bid. Uh, it was a good bid, to be fair. And yeah, offer for British one. We uh, bidded for him. Hopefully, they'll accept that. I don't know if they will. It was quite off what they wanted. But as well, we uh, acquired for news. Now, obviously, he's, he's probably got quite good potential in this game at 73 rate, 20 years old. He should be worth maybe 5.5 million. But anyway, we're trying to uh, get a bit stingy with that deal with Scott Parker and £500,000. But uh, we'll see what happens. But anyway, we've got our last game of the tournament. If we don't win and EA Unigamp win or draw, we're out. So we need to win this game. I can't stress enough how important it is. It's important to obviously put a bit of enjoyment. Uh, say to the board, you know, we're here to uh, stay. But as well, we get a bit of cash for it, don't we? But anyway, we started off pretty well, uh, really well, to be fair. We hit the ground running, then Dembele had the ball, and we was unlucky with that chance. We uh, started the game running, we was really good. The only thing about this game was, this team was playing five at the back. Now, I absolutely hate playing teams at the five at the back, because what they do is, they just sit back all game, invite pressure, they push all your players up, they just counter-attack you, and just score on you, don't they? I mean, this free kick here, I mean, it was a soft free kick anyway that the referee gave. And, I mean, it was a pretty good save, to be fair, by Lonergan. I mean, I thought it was off in. But, I mean, that was it for the first half, really. Not a lot went on. It was quite a boring game. Like I said, it's hard to break down defensive that are five at the back because they're so structured. Because what happens is, if they want to go even more defensive, then... The two midfielders can even slot in between the right wing backs and the centre backs and create a back bloody seven. That's why it's so frustrating to play these. But, as you'll see in a minute, 46th minute, we come up, we come attack, we win the ball off them. Williams turns, William runs, Williams gets lucky, and Williams scores. Boom, boom, boom. Quite a fluky goal. Um, but we'll take it, we don't mind. As you see, run up to the camera. Uh, quite like that celebration in this FIFA, I've got to admit, I quite enjoy it. But, we scored, which is the main thing. I mean, you can't get more fluky than that. It's maybe EA saying, no, oh, you can never go back for that last game. But, to be fair, I think we deserve one after that last game. But, he did well, he, his desire was there, he kept on going, didn't give up. And, uh, hats off to him, well played Williams, the young Welsh winger. Uh, did to be the next Gareth Bale. Nah, I don't think he is. Anyway, after that goal, it was uh, their time to really come and invite our pressure. And you see that chance there. Straight away, they nearly... Well, not straight away, but that was the next chance anyone really than they nearly scored. And as you see here, they come again. Nearly score here. But that was their really one of their last chances. I mean, they had this one in the dying minutes of the game. I mean, they crossed it in. Headed it to Lonergan. Lonergan was easily safe. We throw it out. Try and get one more goal before the game ends. But referee blew the full-time whistle. We win. Good win, to be fair. I'm quite proud of it, lads. You know, it's not easy going up against five at the back. But uh, well done to him. Well done, Williams. Gets his uh, first goal for the club. I hope I'm right with that. But anyway, we're going to train these two again. Williams and Dembele. Because, like I said... We haven't really bought in any young players yet, but don't worry, we are going to. Now, Derby still wasn't happy with our bid for Johnny Russell. So, I mean, I didn't want to pay that much for him, because, I mean, he's only 71 rated, and he's on, and he's at 25 years old. I could probably get someone for that, for maybe around 68, 70, and at 19. But, as well, I didn't actually really want Sam Byron, because I do like him as a, a player on FIFA, which is quite good. But anyway, QPR accepts our offer for Nader Manua. And I like this thing budget on FIFA 16. You can go back and 
do it when you accept the play. You don't have to go back and do it to make the funds available, which I do think is really good. It helps out. It helps out to be fair. But anyway, we uh, put in a contact for him. Uh, I mean, I want him to accept. I don't want him to accept. I mean, I don't want to pay four million for a 28 years old player. But there again, he is 76 rated, and if we do get promoted, it will be uh, good. But as you do see, put another bid in for uh, Dicko from Wolves, and also not as far as want another one of our defenders, Bodrov. We uh, say give us 500,000, and you can. And a good thing was, Black not Blackburn, Birmingham accepted our deal for. Uh, Damari Gray, so we'll offer him a contract. Same with Nike Wells, we'll offer him a contract. Huddersfield accepted his offer, but Knott's Forest was still holding out for their player, Brita Sambalonga. So we'll put in an approved bid for him. Same with Ben Marshall, Blackburn was having none of it. So hopefully we can get them wrapped up before the start of the season because, as we have seen, we do need a, another striker after. Ross McCormack has got injured. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's not out for that long. He's only out for two months, but we do need another striker. And also, that's how the semi finals shape up. It's the Italian team versus the team that beat us, and it's also be a Portuguese team. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Have. Subscribe if you're new, and be seeing you guys later. Peace.